In this video we will be talking about managing CodeDrone in a classroom setting. Before starting your class, make sure to review the code that you're going to go over in class and test it with the CodeDrone itself. Make sure that the CodeDrones are ready, laptops are ready, and you have enough USB cables and batteries in order to run your class. Make sure to divide the room into sections where you have kids programming and flying. Make sure you have multiple batteries charging on the multi-charger. Now for your students who have long hair, make sure that they tie it up into a ponytail, that way the code drone can't get tangled. Before handing batteries to each student, make sure that their code is actually correct. Once you have verified that their code is correct, you can hand them the batteries. To power the Bluetooth module or the remote control, you can use micro USB cable connected to your computer, instead of the AA batteries. Once your students think that they have their code ready, have them test the code drone in their hand. They will be able to feel it pulling and tugging depending on what movement it wants to do. In order to minimize the chaos of flying a bunch of code drones in a classroom, have your students form groups. Make sure your students understand how to properly troubleshoot the code drone. 